Hello, I'm Andrew Lee, and my project is a cell type specific expression and protein interaction analysis to identify autism risk genes. There is a high prevalence of autism, as 1 in 44 children are afflicted by the disorder. The clinical diagnosis has been limited by the lack of conclusive biomarkers and the high genetic and clinical heterogeneity in regards to autism's etiology and the hallmark symptoms. Early diagnosis for autism is essential as the cognitive therapy intervention loses its effectiveness during an early stage of adolescence. And there are two main biological reasons for this. The first is that neuronal plasticity declines, and secondly, the opportunity for complex neuron growth is lost. There are three cases for autism diagnosis. The first is when autism is confirmed, which would then follow a behavioral and developmental monitoring approach. For negative autism cases, there are a variety of other tests to test for other neurological conditions. However, for autism speculation cases, this is dependent on genetic testing through the screening of chromosomal and genetic mutations. However, the accuracy of genetic testing is highly dependent on discovering new autism risk genes. The Safari database classifies known autism genes based on their strength of association into gene categories as syndromic, high confidence, strong candidate, and suggestive evidence, with gene scores of 1, 2, and 3. However, there is a growing lack of consensus, as only about 100 high-confidence genes have been found out of the estimated 1,000. Many genes lack genome-wide association significance, they lack replication, or have an unclear functional correlation to autism symptoms. Prior approaches have tried to identify syndromic genes using genome-wide association and expression profiling. There have been two major advancements in autism genetic understanding. Firstly, there is high autism expression specificity, as 88% of the known genes have been found in the early developmental tissue. Autism genes also have high conservation in disease-implicated pathways, which means that genes that confer risk for autism are functionally related. There are three major biological processes involved with these autism genes. Firstly, neurotransmitter transport, see in figure 2a, synapse regulation, see in figure 2b, and five classes of autism dis dysregulated receptors, seen in figure 2C. My first purpose was to visualize single-cell RNA-seq autism candidate gene expression across 26 cell types, and also to test the accuracy of the approach in separating known autism from the non-associated genes. Next, I sought to identify novel autism risk genes through expression profiling. And lastly, to identify biological support for the candidate genes using kinase and transcription factors for their past known autism correlations, and also to correlate the genes back to the three biological processes I had shown in figure two. Single cell RNA-seq data of the human midbrain was obtained, and a training set of 91 high confidence genes from the Safari database, and a testing set of likely gene disrupting variants. I then developed a cell type specific gene expression analysis and confirmed the accurate stratification of the autism and non-associated genes through two tests. The first was by calculating the average expression of all 19,532 genes in the 26 cell types and comparing them to the Safari Autism High Confidence averages. And the second test was to compare the hierarchical clustering separation for autism genes of varying association confidence levels. I then identified new potential risk genes through a gene expression analysis. 26 cell types out of over 30 from the original data were chosen, and these were expressed in greater than 10 cells. And all the RNA-seq cell types analyzed had strong association with autism, and these are seen in Table 2. For example, dopaminergic cells have been correlated with abnormal axon morphology and reduced dopamine binding. For the first test, there were clear differentiations between gene score 2 and gene score 3 gene expression. It was found that more strong candidate genes with gene score 2 were hierarchically clustered with the Safari high confidence genes compared to the same set of high confidence genes with the suggestive evidence genes at gene score 3. And this means that increased autism association is correlated with increased expression similarity between the Safari high confidence genes and the testing set. This also supports that expression profile analysis can differentiate between close levels of autism association. For the second test, I compared the cell type specific expression between the Safari autism genes and the 19,000 other genes. It was found that the Safari high confidence genes had higher expression levels, two to three fold, compared to the average of all genes especially in the dopaminergic and the GABA neurons. This supports that expression profiling can differentiate between autism and non-associated gene sets. 
Differentiated clustering was also found with the Safari genes and the likely gene disrupting testing variants on the principal component analysis. Here are the known genes represented in the blue region and the testing genes in red. Autism genes also have high expression levels and similar expression profiling, as seen on the heat map. However, six genes were identified as potential autism candidate risk genes, labeled in blue on the heat map, and these were ARH GAP21, SLIT1, ATP61D, APPBP2, SNAP91, and SMAD5. Next, I visualized expression T distributed stochastic neighbor embedding and ridge plots. It was found that CHD7, a high confidence gene, and SLIT1, one candidate gene identified in the study, shared similar expression profiling. However, SDF4, a non associated gene, had little to no expression. All six candidate genes had high expression in greater than 10 cell types, with ARH GAP21, SLIT1, and ATP61D consistently tenfold higher expression than compared to the average gene. A similar trend was seen on the Tisney plots, which showed that the candidate genes were widely expressed in multiple cell types, represented in the red regions circled. My third method was to provide additional support for each KA gene beyond gene expression through identifying protein-protein interactions, transcription factors, and protein kinase associations in past literature. The KA genes were correlated with past autumn associated protein interactions, especially the MAPK1 and MAPK14 protein kinases, which have been linked to synaptic dysregulation in autism in the past. There were five additional autumn associations circled in red. Table 3 also shows how the six genes were mapped back to the three major biological processes that were implicated in autism, neurotransmitter transport, synapse functioning, and autism dis dysregulated receptors, seen in figure 2. My research provided a new alternative approach to identify autism risk genes, and identified six potential autism genes that could be incorporated into genetic testing. My research also supports a midbrain as an autism risk gene hotspot, and the high expression of autism genes during the early developmental stages. With increased discovery of autism risk genes, more individuals with autism can be diagnosed earlier and with greater accuracy. My future research involves using molecular RNA-seq inversion probes to analyze mutation inheritance and genome-wide association significance for mutation prevalence in autism cohorts. All of the images in, the, in this presentation were created by the student presenter. And these are my references. Thank you.